All right, good morning. Appreciate everybody being here. Um, you know, obviously coming off the game on uh, Saturday night, you know, getting a chance to go back and watch the film. Um, you know, I thought it was a, a good game for us and one that, um, you know, we talked, talked to our team beforehand about, you know, trying to put on display the, the identity of who we are. Uh, you have an emotional game week one, right? You know, you uh, uh, coming into week two, short week, you know, having to kind of, you know, condense, condense our schedule uh, in a few ways to, to get prepared, to get ready. And, uh, you know, I thought our guys came out and, uh, you know, really, really did a good job throughout the game. You know, they played for 60 minutes. Uh, we were able to, I think we played, you know, 102 players, which is the most I've ever played in a game before, which was a, you know, great experience and a great opportunity for guys to uh, kind of showcase where they are. A lot of, a lot of great, uh, you know, young players uh, uh, got, got, you know, extensive experience, and I think that's going to be something that we can build upon. Uh, I thought our defense, uh, especially our, our first defense, was dominant throughout. You know, just uh, you know, that was a that was an offense that's you know, well coached. I mean, they have a, a, a talented back that you know, I think is you know uh, you know really really good player. You know, it's a good skill position guys, but I mean, uh, I thought I thought uh, you know our defensive front was uh, was great. Was a great uh, you know, forcing unit. Uh, you know, I thought we were improved in our communication in the back end. There's still like two or three plays where we've got to we've got to be better. Um, you know, with just in, in certain adjustments where we let guys you know get free. Uh, but you know, great pass rush. You know, forced quick throws in, in those situations. Uh, but uh, you know, I was really pleased with the way that our defense you know you know you know came out and uh, you know the way that they were able to uh, to play for uh, for 60 minutes. Um, you know, offensively, you know, I thought. Uh, you know, we did a good job of a response. We had some missed opportunities. Um, you know, there was there were some plays that we definitely left out there, um, but you know those guys continued to uh, continue to fight, continue to work. Uh, you know, I thought um, I, mean, I think we played maybe 50 snaps in the first half, which was kind of what we wanted to do. We wanted to you know, try to push the tempo. We wanted to uh, you know you know, try to wear those guys down, uh, knowing, knowing if we got in the second half, you know, to be able to to really re establish the run game and. Um, you know, and I thought I thought our backs ran hard. I thought our O line did a good job creating some seams. Um, you know, but like I said, we had a few missed opportunities, but then we had some great plays. Uh, you know, by guys out on, out on the perimeter as well. So uh, you know, to, to come out of that game and to have some some disappointing moments and still you know you know, have the the margin of uh, victory of what it was. You know, I think that I think a Southern Miss team is going to be a good team. I think they're going to compete in their in their conference. Um, you know, and, and I mean, they played really hard, so it was a good, a good, good test for us. I was proud of our guys and, and the response, and you know that uh, that gets us into this week. You know, open up ACC play, uh, going on the road, you know, playing, you know, a Boston College team. Um, you know, that's uh, you know, you know, tough. They're physical. Um, you know, their offensive line. Uh, you know, is, is really. You know, they've got a lot of new, uh, you know guys back. You know, last year they they really dealt with a lot of injuries. That was that was tough and challenging for them. Um, you know, they're gonna. You know they're going to try to create you know create movement up front. Um, you know they've got a, a they made a switch at quarterback uh, with Thomas Castellanos uh, now you know starting at quarterback. To Thomas is somebody that we recruited. Um, you know we were we were looking at at him as a as a running back um, you know athlete you know as as he was coming out and I mean he's really done a nice job. Uh, you know, went to UCF now transferred up to Boston College and uh, you know you you see uh, the playmaking ability that he has and you know he's a great player in high school. Uh, you're somebody that you absolutely have to have to work to contain. Uh, they got a couple guys on the perimeter that can run, and uh, you'll create separation. So, uh, you know, it's a it's going to be a, a good matchup. It's one that uh, uh, you know our guys, you know, we're excited to get get started in conference. And you know, we we understand you know what we want to achieve and what we what we want to do. This is the first step uh, when it comes to, to coming into conference play. Um, you know, this is this is a. Uh, uh, you know, a big, you know, a big game uh, you know, up at, at BC. I mean, this is their bandana game. Uh, Wells Crowder, um, you know, the the young man that played, uh, you know, for them for them years back, and actually on September 11th, uh, um, you know, lost his life. Uh, you know, helping helping, uh, you know, others. They're in the in, you know going into the towers uh, before they before they collapsed. And uh, you know, it's a it's a it's a game that will honor him and his legacy. Uh, I talked to our team about that a little bit last night. You know, just out of, out of respect for. Uh, for Wells and and uh, you know the, just the family and you know all all that uh, you know, that he embodied and uh, you know so this will be a uh, you know an emotional game there'll be a you know I'm sure it'll be a great atmosphere uh, you know there and uh, you know it's an opportunity for us to go on the road and and uh, you know kick off conference play which we're definitely excited about. First question will be Ira second row on your right. Yeah, different kind of two for one. I'm ask about two different guys and one question though. Um, Darion Williamson uh, is is shown his flashes. Uh, how good was it to see him healthy again, playing the way he did, and then also um, how far has Deuce fan come? 
No, I mean, it's you know, both those guys, you know, were guys coming out of the game that I was really proud of. Um, you know, they didn't play perfect games. You know, there's things that they have to, uh, um, some, some mistakes they got to clean up. But, I mean, for, for Darion to have that first touchdown, um, you know, he's a guy that's had to battle injuries. You know, he's had to overcome some challenging situations, you know, but, um, you know, he is he's really coming into his own as a player. And uh, it was great to see him make the big, you know, that big play. And, you know, obviously had a couple of you know, throughout the game. And, um, you know, just uh, really like what he brings to our wide receiver room. He's explosive. He's big. He's fast. Uh, he's got got great ball skills, and I mean, he's a, uh, uh, he's, I think he's a dynamic guy in special teams units too. So it was great to have him uh, have him back out there. And then Deuce Van, you know, when Deuce came here, you know, we were basically starting from from the square one. You know, I mean, Deuce was a, was a, a, a you know, transitioning quarterback, you know, moving to the receiver position. So uh, you know, he's had to learn a lot, and that 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 process it sometimes takes time. But if you watch him, I would say probably one of the most improved players on our football team when you take. Uh, you know, just his route running ability, the things that, that he's done, you know, he's definitely explosive when you get the ball in his hands. You know, he's got great speed, probably one of the faster players on our football team. Um, but, you know, to see him make the, make the difficult catch coming across the middle, um, you know, and just, you know, then he, you know, obviously with the speed sweep later in the game, you know, it was, was an explosive play. And, you know, I'm just, I'm proud of him for his growth. And, you know, you adding that into um, into the room that we have, I mean, it's, it, it allows you to, to you know, work to keep those guys fresh and, um, you know, and, and be able to have a great rotation where we can always, you know, continue to apply pressure on defensive backfields, um, you know, we're, Hopeful that we'll get Tron back, uh, you know, here here soon. Um, you know, he's he's working through it. I know I mentioned Jakai at the beginning, uh, you know, uh, last week, and you know, so we were, we were down a few guys, but I mean, you know, I thought Akeem Williams, you came in and had a fourth down conversion, uh, which I'm really proud of him for. I think he's he, last three weeks. I mean, he's he's really taken some major leaps and bounds uh, there at the receiver position, and you know, you see, you know, just uh, you know, a variety of different guys. You have know, Andreas Jacobs scores a touchdown there late, which I was proud of him. You know, Dustin Hill kind of had a big catch. Um, you know, we, we got a we got a good, really good group. You know, um, you know, uh, Winston Wright. You had a, had a you know, a couple a really nice return, and you know, still uh, doing some good things there offensively. So, um, you know, I know it's a broader question, but I mean, it's a uh, re your response to the question. But I'm excited about that room and the continued growth and development. Uh, you know, like I said, we had some we had some missed opportunities there. Um, you know, where guys you know get got the ball in their hands and just we didn't weren't able to finish it going to the ground. So that's something that we're we're looking at um, you know just as coaches to make sure we continue to implement you know drills to help with that because you know it wasn't just like you know, there weren't a whole, a whole lot of just straight drops. You know it's like you know guys you catch the ball but when it got to the ground just weren't able to continue to secure the that and finish the play. Um, you know, and then there were some good plays that, that Southern Miss defensive backs made as well. I mean, a couple of the vertical passes. So uh, th that's something that we're, we're challenging our guys with, and uh, you know, looking forward to seeing them get better. We'll go to Brendan here on the left. Kind of a follow up to that. Just what is the messaging or the message to Johnny Wilson this week? Make sure he's in a good spot mentally and you know, just moving forward. I mean, it's uh, you know, there's you just go get better. I mean, it, you know, Johnny is a great player, and you know, he was. You know, you did a good job. You know, in his routes. You know, uh, you know, obviously, you put himself in a good uh, position. You know, just had a couple times when he hit the ground, the ball, uh, ball right, rattled loose, and you know, nobody wants that in that moment. But uh, you know, it's it's what happened, and um, so you learn from it, you get better, and uh, you know, I'm definitely excited for him to, to him to get a chance to respond, and uh, you know, but he doesn't. You know, he knows he knows what he needs to do, and uh, you know, he's like I, I love his attitude, his work ethic. Um, you know he's gonna he's gonna come back and you know, he'll, he'll be in great shape for it. Next will be Essen, third row on your left. You talked a lot about the um, young defensive back group that you have. How much um, they got a lot of playing time? I think just a couple of them at that, in Naps. How big was that playing time for them? And what do you see from them this past game? No, it was great because you you got to see. It's one thing to see it in practice, but it's another thing when they had to go out there on the field. And it's more more than anything, it's the communication. It's and it's trusting your eyes, trusting your keys, and. You know, there were some there were some good and bad when it came to that, but uh, you know, you for a for a young freshman, you know, everybody wants to play, everybody wants to have an opportunity to get out, out there and make an impact, and uh, you know, there were some really good things that showed up. Um, you know, I thought you know we had uh, two opportunities at at, uh, at interceptions that we got to make sure we finish, but uh, you know, I thought uh, I thought those guys competed, they battled. Um, it was good to see a, a, a larger workload that they had to uh, that they that they got to work through, but you know, there's still some things with their eyes and. Uh, just particular communication that uh, you, was was great for us to be able to go back yesterday and you know try to try to help build the confidence in what and 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 how they need to do things and so um, you know definitely fired up about that uh, you know I thought our linebackers you know a guy that I, that really you know, stood out to me was Blake Nicholson uh, you know I know it's not defensive back but I mean he 
you know, he had an unbelievable play on a wheel route. Uh, you know, he did it. With, you know, I mean, on some of our special teams units. I mean, I'm ex really, really excited about where he's where he's going. Uh, you know, uh, you know, I know Justin Cryer got some good work there, linebacker as well, DeMarco Ward. So it was good to see some of those young those young backers get in there as well. So, um, you know, I thought it was a, thought it was a good uh, good workload. I'll come back to the front row for Chris. Akeem Dan obviously went off. It looked like he was grabbing maybe his hammy. Just wondering if there's any update on him. Uh, we'll, we'll see how we'll track how everything goes this week. Um, you know, we got a couple guys that missed the game. You know, we, we were down, uh, uh, you know, Rob and uh, and Maurice there on the offensive line. We'll see where that goes here this week. Um, you know, obviously Akeem went down in the game. It was not able to return. Uh, you know, Johnny, you know, was you know, went down was not able to return. But um, you know, I, I, we'll see how they how they progress. I thought they they came in well last night. Um, you know, as, as we were able to get you know start getting treatment and and things like that. So um, you know. I'll give you probably a better better sense of it as the week progresses. Go to the right side for Kurt. You talked about Hakeem, the, the catch he made. I know he had a really impressive uh, block downfield on, on Brock's run as well. I guess, how have you seen him take to that? It seems like he enjoys that aspect of the game. And when a guy is able to put in that kind of effort, how much that helps you? I mean, be more willing to call him more, I'm sure. Yeah, no, I mean, he's, he's definitely put himself in a position. And I think for him, he's just getting in shape. You know, I mean, his, his first you know, nine months here. I mean, it was a it was a process, and so. Um, but you see now that he's in now that he's in shape, you see him starting to, to utilize his mind, his fundamentals. You know, being able to, to apply the technique. Uh, you know, he's definitely got the want to, and that's that's something that you know he's a great young man. Um, you know, I think he's got a got a special future, and definitely uh, excited about what he's bringing to that receiver room. Uh, but you know, it, when you have that type of work ethic and that type of passion to get better, I mean, good things are going to happen. And you know now that he's gotten to a point where he, you know, he's in much better shape. You know, it's, it, you're, we're, we're able to see you know better better flashes of what we think he's going to become. <coughs> Next to be Corey, second row on the right. I know the answer to this is probably no, but I'm going to ask it anyway. No. Um, do you allow yourself to embrace what this program has become, considering where it was two years ago, 18 months ago when we were when we were in here interviewing you after games and before games? number three team in the country, real championship aspirations. Do you allow yourself to appreciate? Uh, appreciate, uh, appreciate or embrace both. Take both. Take both. Uh, I mean, uh, yes, there is a, uh, there's an appreciation for where we've come because I watch our players work. I watch what they put into it. I see how hard our coaches coach. I see, you know, the, the, the program wide investment to see guys, you know, Believe, get better, and then you obviously respond to the situations that we that we have found ourselves in. So I appreciate that. Uh, embrace, man. I, there's no there's no difference in how I approach. Well, oh, well, somebody says that we're highly rated or highly ranked, whatever you you know, or not. None of that matters. It, it's about what we are willing to do when we show up and when we go to work. Um, I believe in this team. I believe in this team. You know, for what they've been through. I believe in in this team for the guys. Uh, that have said yes to come be a part of it and the challenge that are presented to them, um, you know, when they were making that choice. You know, we're very transparent. You know, I, I, want, I want guys to know exactly what they're coming into uh, when they come into this, into this family. And, you know, for, for the ones that have said yes, man, I'm, I'm really proud of them. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a daily challenge for us to, to – and that's why last week was – it was a big game for us. Like people, you know, they, nothing ever – you can take nothing for granted. And, you know, it was – to me, you know, we didn't play a perfect game. You know, we had a big victory, and I mean, that was great. But it was more, you know, to see the, the approach, to see our guys work throughout the course of the week. And there were some moments where it was up and down. Um, you know, I think I talked about that a little bit on Wednesday. Uh, but, you know, watching them on Friday, you can see in the, the, the GPS data, like that was the most ex most explosive moments we had in a practice, right, since we've, since we've been here in a game week. And to do that on a short week, like that shows you intent. And, like, I can I, – I respect that from our players. And – so the new expectation, right, needs to be better than that, and that's where you you continue to push for for best, and that's what uh, you know. I mean, I think our guys embrace it. They don't always like it. I mean, you know, it's just like anything. I mean, we all want to take a deep breath. We all want to want to be able to to have a relaxing moment. So um, yes, there's an appreciation, but there's also responsibility that comes with you know the steps that we've taken to go get better, and that's what we're continuing to push to do. We'll come back to Brenda. Praised the run game earlier on. I guess what stood out about what you guys did well uh, this past week, and then specifically to Zion Holmes, how did he do when he got his, his opportunities? Uh, it was good. Um, you know, I thought there were some explosive runs. Uh, you know, the offensive line did a really nice job. Um, 
you know, there was a few, you know, a few mistakes that we had. We had guys playing uh, um, in different positions. Some guys getting more, um, you know, more opportunity. I thought Darius Washington. Um, you know, I, I just can't say enough about him. Like he is, he's remarkable. You know, to be a, he can literally play all five positions and to go in there at center. Uh, you know, he managed managed the game well. It, like I said, it wasn't a perfect game, but I mean, he really did a good job of uh, going in, going in there and making a positive impact. Um, and and it was a game as as we continued to go through it. Um, you know, we wanted to be able to, to continue to lean on. You know, we, we threw the ball a lot early, and that was, you know, part of my thought process. I mean, you know, in in being able to attack and to force those guys to run, and then, you know, obviously be able to have some of the tempo as we got up into the 40 and 50 plays. You know, I mean, I thought we really started to lean on those guys pretty good and, uh, you know, open up some big seams, and our backs did a great job of being able to convert on that. And, you know, really, you know, every back had a good run uh, in that game. And, uh, you know, it was – you know, obviously, Trey had the three touchdowns. You know, because I was great seeing him getting the open field. Uh, you know, have you know have his touchdown. Rodney Hill had a big run. Morris Ophelia had a big run. Uh, even C.J. Campbell had a couple really nice runs. So I mean, that was a it was great to see uh, you know those guys and, and how they were able to take advantage of it. But uh, you know, I thought our old line did a did a really nice job as alongside of uh, our tight ends. You're good. We'll go to Allison. Coach, kind of expanding on what Corey asked, but just because this team is so highly ranked now, and I asked you about the maturity of them on Saturday, but who do you turn to? Do you have to direct them, like, guys, stay focused? Is that an internal thing? Do they do that? I and mean, what's kind of the mindset, I guess, of this team right now? It, it's, it's all. I mean, there's no – we can't – that's coaches. Right? It's, it's all of us. And that's where, you know, for me, you know, the mindset that I bring to practice, the mindset I bring to meeting, um, you know, that's – I've got to I've got to work hard to, to to live to be the example for for them, and we got great players and, and we got great young men that want to they want to achieve greatness they want to to get better, um, and so you know we have the opportunity. It's just what we do with that opportunity, and so it's um, you know the, the older guys that have lived it. They probably you know we built that trust uh, you know you know throughout time, but you know it's for the new for the newcomers. You know sometimes you got to paint the picture for them. But when they see, you know, the older guys and, and the, the investment, the work, like last night we did you know, our developmental um, you know, practice with, with some of the guys that don't, that don't get as many reps. And, uh, you know, it's just a little extra time, you know, for those guys to be able to kind of showcase, you know, themselves, their growth. And, and I thought it was one of our best days we've had since, since, I've, since I've been here. And, I mean, those young guys, they came in there and, you know, it was, it was impressive. The urgency, the, 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 the drive, the fundamental, you know, you know, focus that it came, came with. And so, you know, and that's necessary because you never know at what point we might be calling on one of those guys to have to go in there and make a play. Um, but, you know, it, it's everybody. And that's what, that's what makes this game so special because, you know, it, by just talking to one or I'm just talking to a, to a couple, you know, and we only have 75% of our guys that are, that are getting better, well, that, that 25 is going to show up. And, uh, you know, obviously we gotta, you know, we got to make sure that, uh, that there is that sense of urgency, you know, across our program. And, and that's never going to change. And, you know, it's, it's something that, you know, we try to we talk, talk about you know, you know throughout the year and uh, you know that's why I always say you know Florida State's not for everybody it's just for the real ones the ones that, that truly desire to do something special and uh, and you see that in the, in the way that our guys are working. All right, last one will be Ira. We talked to Darian a couple weeks ago and he said that um, you know when he first got here you guys had just gotten here and the program wasn't what it needed to be um, but he said over the last you know, year or two he, he's really come to just trust you as a staff completely like did, you know, was he a guy did you know that he could be this kind of a leader in terms of I mean Jared Burst said Darian was one of the guys that convinced him to come back and, and, and did, did you see that in him when he first got here and or how has that relationship kind of grown? No, I love I love Darian and I mean just who he is and the growth that I've seen and that's where you know leadership comes through through example and experience and you know he's had to grow up and he's had to grow up a lot in his time here from day one to where he is now. And, you know, I, that was a, a really good moment. You know, I loved watching him get that pick six the other day. And it was just, you know, he's faced adversity. He's had to overcome challenge. But, I mean, he is – he you know, we talk about that buying and building building trust. I mean, it's, that's hard-earned. And, you know, he's made the choice because, you know, I mean, we're not changing to the, 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 the standard how we're going to operate. And, you know, he made the choice too. And, you know, when guys see that – that growth in an individual that has talent, that has ability, um, 
you know, he's had to, you know, he's had to overcome some challenging moments where maybe people doubted or, or, or questioned or, you know, and for him to be able to block that out and just focus on getting better. And now you're seeing his, his, his best game, you know, on display and, you know, he's still going to get better throughout the course of the season. But, uh, you know, that's, that's a, that's a young man that his, his leadership has come from his, from his experience and the, uh, and the willingness to, to push and to overcome in those situations. So, yeah, he's one that I think has, has, has earned the leadership role, uh, you know, through that. And, you know, I'm just really proud of him. All right. Thank you, Coach. All right. You guys have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.